I was in the shower one night and the water on my chest just hit me so hard. Excruciating pain, pain I've never experienced before, pain I was afraid of. I went into the bathroom and he was slumped over the tub. When I got him sitting up a bit, I ran to call the ambulance and they came along. I was unconscious and um, for some reason or whatever, I just came up into my wife, Jones Hopkins, and went back up. I ended up here in Baltimore for a major um, operation. I'm doing much better now, I'm looking good. All's well, I'm happy. Thank the Lord for that, I'm out of here. Um, we are looking at renewing our vows in Bermuda, but because of this, and she's a stickler, she said, God, we are doing my prayer. I said, we will do it by the bedside. I, I pray in John Hopkins, I will call a minister and come and pray over us and renew our vows here. So when Mrs. Eve told me that they had originally planned to renew their vows at home, but because of his health condition and being here at Hopkins, they weren't going to be able to do it, but that she still really wanted to do something really special, I kind of was like, okay, let me think on this over the weekend, and on Monday I'll come back to you with some ideas. The coordinator for this floor, she just said, get dressed and show up. So what that looked like come Monday morning was hit the ground running to see who we could contact to get some services in place, to get singers, um, food, location, clearances, um, and to, they already had a chaplain, so that was like the easiest part to, to um, address. Um, and then one of our nurses volunteered to make sure that she had a bouquet and he had a boutonniere, so it just kind of all came together as a team. It was, it was a great, great celebration, and then they surprised us and they took us upstairs into the kitchen area they had laid out for us. They had an anniversary cake, they had cookies, they had drinks, they had non-alcoholic champagne. It was a great time, we enjoyed it to the utmost. And this one, it meant so much more because now we have life to be healed. I wouldn't have been here. Yeah, it is great, That's a good thing. To do that ceremony, and to see the doctors and the nurses that came out of their time to do that with us. And the reception, it was amazing. It, it was more special. And extra special is because we were able to give God thanks for what he's done. It's my job to just go the extra mile, to go above and beyond, and to let the patients know that we are not just here to care for their health concerns. We are here to treat their whole person and just being able to just really make sure that emotionally, socially, the patient is also well taken care of. And I love him today. From the first day I met him, I will not come back. He looks at me and cries and says, Rose, look at you. You put your life on hold. I said, no, I didn't. Because if that was me, you'd be here with me also. When I was unconscious, the doctors told my wife, because I, I was sort of in a violent, manner, right? I didn't know where I was, I didn't know what was happening. I was in a violent manner, and the doctors just told my wife, just go talk in his ear, that she could speak to me, and it would saddle me. I never hurt my wife, but you know, after 24 years, that voice can do so much for me. I love her, I love her. Well, for 25 years, I will continue to love her. <laughs>